Hello everybody, it is Strainer Gamer back to kick off round three for Group F matches. And this could be import this could be an important round for Group F because up first we will see the Champions team taking on Chainsaw. Then we will see Melon going up against Brenton, and then another big game between Dinosaur Queen 777 and Blood Moon. At the end of all this, we could see an entirely different looking Group F. So let's get on with the first match. Right, here we go, the first matchup, which sees a clash at the top between the Champions team and Chainsaw. Up first to the Champions team, we have a Mapusaurus. Yes, the, the unbeatable, the unbeatable Mapusaurus, I should say, because <laughs> it doesn't seem to die. Although it has died in this tournament, because, you know, makes sense, because it's the first dinosaur. Anyway, in the blue corner, for Chainsaw, we have a Soropelter. Can Soro pelt the pelt Mapusaurus into the earth? Or will Mapusaurus pelt the pelter into the earth? <laughs> um, I don't know what to expect in this match. Obviously, both of these two have winning starts so far. And I should also mention that the winner of this match will also guarantee their place in the last 32. So it's quite a bit at stake, but even if, even if whoever loses this match is not a disaster. You know, because whoever loses this match will probably still qualify from the group stage anyway. And that is a very good start for Chainsaw. A mole attack coming in from the Soropelta. Ooh, an ACT rocket as well. Of course, we saw how useless it was in the, in the previous match with Chainsaw. Since the rocket came up into space, but it never came back down. Okay, it's not coming down yet, but it will come down and it will land some damage on this Mapusaurus. But the Mapusaurus is going to get off his crit and a technique boost to boot. Will it come down now? Indeed it will. And look at all that damage. Ooh, it's a tie, but no heat eruption. Despite the technique boost. Mole attack from the Soropelter is going to give Chainsaw a 1-0 lead. And um, it's been quite back and forth so far. I mean, the Mapuzoras died quicker than it did in the first two matches. But, up next for the Champions team, we have a Spinosaurus. The winner of the Water Washout Tournament. And you can definitely see why. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, a neck crusher coming from the Spinosaurus. The champions team fighting back. Ooh, and the Soropelter is gonna go down. And the champions team will even up the score, but up next for Chainsaw, we will have an Alberta Ceratops, which will be the type advantage against that Spinosaurus. So how crucial could that be? And we've definitely seen how advantageous the type advantage is in this tournament. Unless you tore the source. <laughs> Go quit on the seven. So we get the lucky seven type activated. <laughs> oh, not too much damage dealt though, even with the type advantage. Interesting. But what isn't interesting for the Champions team is that the, the Spinosaurus is getting creamed by the Alberta Ceratops. Oop, that's a tie. RNG a little bit slow there. Ooh, a neck crusher and a light recovery coming. That could be big for the Spinosaurus. But the counter blitz has been triggered. And that will guarantee chainsaw damage next round. 
well, damage in a tie, damage if he gets a hit, and damage from counter blitz if he loses. So that's what I mean by when he's guaranteed damage. But he won't need the counter blitz because he's going to get a hit and a light recovery to cut. Chainsaw wrestling back control of this match. Ooh, but the Spinosaurus coming back into it with his own light recovery. And another hit. Oh, it's hard to say who's on top so far. I mean, the Champions team have just taken the lead, slight lead, but Chainsaw can easily pull it back. Very back and forth match. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will suit the Spino because it is tie type. Ooh, another light recovery cover. It's back and forth. Such a chess match, this. The Spinosaurus, though, is on low health, and Chainsaw has wrestled back his momentum. Oh, that's a tie. And that's still not lethal for Spinosaurus. Oh, well, after back and forth surges and a very intriguing match, the Alberta Ceratops finally comes out on top against the Spinosaurus and Chainsaw keeps his narrow lead. Okay, last but not least for the Champions team, we have a Pachycephalosaurus. Yes, this beast won the Secret Showdown tournament. With a combination of Tai moves synergizing with its battle type, which is Tai type Can it pull this back for the Champions team or can Chainsaw start to pull away? I mean, what I've noticed in these matchups is that when a team when a team gets in this situation, you know, after a very close match, you know, the team on top, which is Chainsaw at this moment, seems to start to starts to pull away and looks like it might happen again. Of course, one hit from the Pachycephalosaurus will change that. And here comes that hit. A critical hit from the Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, but it doesn't kill the Alberta Ceratops. Wow. That's a huge surprise. Okay, but this hit will finish it off. <laughs> well, the crit should have... Re I was really surprised. Anyway, as for Chainsaw's third and final dino, we have a spiny dino tector. Um, I don't think we'll see dino tector in this matchup. I mean, either Chainsaw will win too quickly, or the Champions team will win too quickly. In other words, Chainsaw won't get enough hits to, for the bar to fill up. What I mean by that is that he'll kill it before the bar fills up. So, that's what I meant. Like, not that he's not going to get any hits. It's, he's not going to get enough hits. Ooh, just as you thought Chainsaw was starting to pull away, the Champions team pulls it back. And that pretty much sums up... Oh, Pooper clicks scissors. Okay, it's a tie. My bad. Oh, maybe I shouldn't... Okay. I hope that doesn't affect the match. Oh, <laughs> it shouldn't. Ooh, but a secret move has been triggered, which will give the Pachycephalosaurus the advantage. So maybe we will see Dino Tector. Oh, that's a tie. That will definitely suit Pachycephalosaurus more. As will this crit, but the dino stuff are coming in, stopping that crit, and probably stopping the champions team from winning. Ah, oh, it's a rainbow. Ow. I think two more hits from the Spino and it will be a oh, dino tactic time. Ooh, it's a tie. But again, that tie attack wearing down Spiny's health. Ooh, we are going to see it. Unless this tragic sphere kills a Pachycephalosaurus, which I don't think it will because of the type advantage. But we will see Dino Tector. Oh, it all comes down to this. Um, I think despite the tie attack, I think a tie will win it for Chainsaw. A hit will win it for Chainsaw, but a hit from the Champions team will win it for them. Oh, it all comes down to this. Oh, the Pachycephalosaurus! Cephalosaurus! The Champions team have snatched the match! Just when you thought Chainsaw had a chance, the Champions team pulls away. 
and that is game over. Wow. Okay, that's one of the best matches of the tournament. It's gotta be. Like, that was such an even match. It was so back and forth. And to sum it up, Chainsaw will get a losing bonus point. Right, let's move on to our next matchup. Alright, in this matchup we see Melon taking on Brenton. This could be an important game at the bottom of the table because Brenton is winless so far while Melon does have that one win on the board. Anyway, at first for Melon we have a Sorrow Fagonax. Not much to say here. But beware of that firebomb could do some damage. As for Brenton in the blue corner, we have an Abelosaurus. Again, quite attack-minded this Abelosaurus, so watch out for it too. Um, I'm quite fearful for Melon in this matchup, purely because Brenton's second and third dinos will have the advantage, type advantage, over Melon's second and third dinos, so... I feel like this is such a good opportunity here for Brenton to get a win on the board. If Melon does want to win this match, I feel like the Soro Faganax will be key. Oh, I need to get my notes out, I forgot. And well, that is not a good start for Melon, but a very good start for Brenton. Ooh, a firebomb though, coming from the Sorrow Faginax. Go on, Stranger, get your notes right. <laughs> Big damage coming, Abelosaurus's way. Oh my god, look at that! I mean, mainly because this guy is like super attack type, so it does loads of damage. Ooh, another hit from Sorrow Faginax. And the Abelosaurus, just like that, is beaten. Alrighty then, up next for Brenton, we have a Super Mutterborosaurus. Again, another attack-minded moveset here. Lots of power in this beast, despite it only having 1,000 strength. Okay, Awaken Mode on 3, and I feel like you might need that Awaken Mode. Okay, the key for Brenton here, he has to kill this Sorrow Faganax quick. Ooh, and that's a good pat, and that's a good step in the right direction. Not too much damage dealt though, but it does take Soro Faganax's HP below half. Ooh, a crit coming from Mutterborosaurus. And a Fawn Whip which might spell curtains for Soro Faganax. Indeed it does. Now, up next for Melon, we have a Decentaurus. They used this last time and it did okay. But I, I, I don't, I don't think it'll fare too well in this matchup, because as I said, it will be at a tight disadvantage against that Mutterborosaurus. Okay, two more, and then it'll be awakening time. Ooh, the the Centaurus does get off a crit, but not too much damage dealt. Ooh, super Impact being triggered, and the Super Impact be activating. I think Brenton has just stolen this match's momentum and now has the lead. Oh, look at that! That wasn't even his crit and it did all our damage. Oh, Awaken Mode. <laughs> Almost messed it up then, but it is Awakening time for Mantaborosaurus. Oh, but the Decentaurus getting that crucial hit. And, what's this? Earth Barrier as well, but I don't think it's going to help. But it does put Melon back in the driving seat. Oh, that's a tie, and Earth Barrier will definitely not help. Oh, that's another tie. Ooh, a sand trap! How big could that be from Melon? Sand trap taking out the Mutterborosaurus. The Awakened Mode costing Brenton there. Yeah, I think the Awakened Mode definitely cost him there. 
because it halved Mutaburosaurus's current HP, which gave Desantorurus an opening. The chance missed there to go 2 1 up, and instead, Melon holds a slight lead as Brenton's third dino, the Omega Eocarcaria, comes in. And this beast could still. It could, it's, I'd still say Brenton is still in the favourite to win this matchup. Purely because of that type advantage that this thing will have over Melon's third dino. And Desantorurus is quite low on health. But, if the Desantorurus does keep getting hit, it will make Gojirasaurus' job to kill this Eocarcaria slightly easier. Ooh, and that's the last hit from Desantorurus as it goes down. Despite the Earth Barrier, not enough health to survive. Alright, the news where I think Brenton can win this matchup, because as for Melon's third dino, we have a Gojirasaurus. Although, Gojirasaurus can still... Melon can still win this matchup, but given the type advantage and what opposition he's facing, I'd say the odds are definitely against him. And I would say a defeat here for Brenton would be an absolute disaster. Ooh. Ooh. Melon, Melon, Melon. But yeah, but look at that. I mean, Jet Shirt... Oh, that's Cyclone. Never mind. Cyclone will definitely help though. Oh, big Magma Blaster. And Eocarcaria's moves are balanced, so this is still gonna do an ass ton of damage. Yeah, look at that. Just like that. Just like that, Brenton is one attack away from his first win of the tournament. Okay, can Melon get that? Can Melon guarantee themselves a bonus losing bonus point? Um, oh, um, oh, that's a tough one. I think that's like bang on half. Okay, Melon has guaranteed themselves a losing bonus point. If they lose, and... And has made my job easier for that. Because <laughs> if it was half, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Yep, that's game over for Melon. Um, a valiant effort, and I think... Given the matchup, I think a losing bonus point is not the worst result in the world. So, despite losing that matchup, I think Melon can take positives from it. You know, and you never know how crucial that losing bonus point could be. But, it is an important win for Brenton, and let's not forget that. Right, time for our third and final matchup of this video. Alright, in the red corner for Dinosaur Queen 777, we have a Tajongosaurus. And this could be quite an important match for Dinosaur Queen. Because they are winless so far, and given how other results have gone, a defeat here would find it would find herself be cut adrift from the top four. And that is not where you want to be with two matches to play. Also, important for Blood Moon as well, just to put some breathing space between them and the bottom three. Well, bottom two. And as for Blood Moon, we have Chomp, which we, well, we haven't seen any of Chomp because it's died so quickly. <laughs> oh, wow, real sound like. Stop it, computer. Not nice. So yeah, quite an important clash this could be, more so for Dinosaur Queen than uh, Blood Moon, and that is not a good start. Although, Dinosaur Queen will have the type advantage in this matchup, so it's not, it shouldn't be too doom and gloom, and yeah, look at that, not too much damage dealt. Ooh, Tajongasaurus striking back with a scissors. More damage dealt to Chomp than Chomp dealt to it. The Rock Roller has been triggered. A Rock Roller from the Tajongasaurus will, well, will kill Chomp. But a Rock Roller is not what Tajongasaurus will be getting. But the Tajongasaurus is getting hit off on Chomp. Oh, is that Giga Rock Hammer? That is indeed Giga Rock Hammer. Uh, just need to double check if there's any super dinosaurs. I don't think there is. Okay, that's a skisses. 
Ooh, a lightning strike coming from Chomp. The signature move for Chomp, that lightning strike. I mean, I know people would say that maybe Electric Charge because it was his first one, but no, I'd say Lightning Strike. That's the move he used the most. Ooh. Well, despite being at a tight disadvantage, Lightning Strike is going to give Blood Moon a 1-0 lead. And that is definitely not good for Dinosaur Queen. As for Dinosaur Queen's second Dino, we have a Rugops. Um, not much to say here, but do watch out for that Hurricane Beat as it will do a lot of damage. But the head from Wyatt. <laughs> but Blood Moon does have a slender lead at the minute. And it's about to grow. Oh my god, all the damage! Oh, that's right, because Chomp, this Chomp is Super Crisis type, which means it's a lot stronger now because his health is very low. Ooh, a tie, not enough to finish off Chomp. However, that tie will be enough to finish off Chomp, and because of the tie defense type effect of Rugops, the Rugops will be unscathed. Okay, up next for Blood Moon, we have a Baryonyx. Blood Moon has quite the lead over Dinosaur Queen so far in this matchup, and we definitely saw for the first time what Chomp can do. <laughs> well, it's win or... I wouldn't say it's win or bust for Dinosaur Queen, because she could go on to win the last two matches. But a defeat here will definitely set her back. Oh, needed that hurricane beat. Oh, that's another tie. But again, the tie defense effect there of the Rugops will probably save it from dying. Ties definitely suit and Dinosaur Queen more. Oh, except for that time. Ooh. Could this be the turning point for Dinosaur Queen? Could this be the turning point in this match and for her tournament? The Baryonyx going down. And Blood Moon is down to their last Dino. That Dino being the Pachycephalosaurus. And interest, this is actually an interesting secret dinosaur because it doesn't have any secret moves. Which I find interesting. Ooh, could that be a turning point? Or can Blood Moon deny Dinosaur Queen that turning point? Didn't know how to say that then. Okay, the Rugops is going down. The defense boost is being activated. And, well, Tie Bomb's going to do nothing because the Rugops is going to go down. There's the defense boost there. Strengthening the HP. The Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, as for Dinosaur Queen's third dino, we have a Crylophosaurus. And pretty much like every other Cryo in the tournament, except one, it has all secret moves. Um, I should dig out Cryo. I I'm curious to know what its attack stats are. Because it's got to be so even. Ooh, that's a tie. But I think... I think that was, yeah, that will definitely suit, well, despite the tie recovery effect, that will definitely suit the Pachycephalosaurus more. However, a hit from the Cryo, though. Can Dinosaur Queen win this match? Or can Blood Moon pull away from the bottom two? Ooh. A light recovery coming in, and a tie bomb, and a defense boost. Boosh! Not too much damage dealt, though. But Blood Moon strengthening their grip on this match. Might could Blood Moon have just turned the screw there? Ooh, I think Blood Moon has just turned the screw on this match. 
And for Dinosaur Queen, things are not looking good. Yep, that is game over for Dinosaur Queen. The Crowlophosaurus going down. And I think Dinosaur Queen is the only, like, human competitor to lose all three of their matches so far. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it is what it is. And that is a win for Blood Moon. Um, well, put up, more, put up a bit of a fight, Dinosaur Queen, but Blood Moon got the hits off and won the match. Right, time to up the, update the table and we'll end the session. Well, Group F definitely looking interesting. You have the Champions team up top with three straight wins, one bonus point and ten points. And, um, well, they could still be caught. So I wouldn't say it's guaranteed, guaranteed, but it's pretty much assured for Champions team. Um, who, who do they play next? So, well, any points for Champions team should do it. So even if it's a losing bonus point. And they play in the next round, they will face up against Brenton. And if the Champions team win that matchup, they will guarantee their place in the last 32. And they may, and depending on how other results go, they may even guarantee themselves as Group F winners. Actually, no, because these two play each other, so... Yeah, it could be it could be an interesting round round four because we have a big game between Chainsaw and Blood Moon and well you can't separate these two because they haven't played each other yet and they have the exact same record. However, these two can be separated. Since Brenton did win the matchup against Melon, he will go above Melon into fourth and Melon will be into fifth. And then we have poor Dinosaur Queen with the solitary point and three defeats. And who do they play next? Oh. Massive game this. Such a huge game this could be. Like. If Brenton defeats the champions team. And Dinosaur Queen fails to win this matchup. Then. It will be an elimination for Dinosaur Queen. Wow. This. This has got to be the match of the round. This could be the match of the round so far. Like. In terms of significance, because if Dinosaur Queen loses this match, that then it's bye bye to Dinosaur Queen. If if should Brenton get any form of points, of course then Dinosaur Queen has to play Brenton in the final round. So I, despite being winless, this is still on for Dinosaur Queen. There's still a chance. Like the bet, the best she's gonna get is fourth. I mean, these three, I'd probably say these three are going through. Right, time to end the session. So, I'll see you next time, and we'll kick off round three for Group G.